Oh, a little show of sportsmanship here. I like this. Psych. <laughs> oh, that's oh, 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 They kind of had it coming. They should have known better than to take the bait. Obviously, a total lack of respect between these two. Tension's incredibly high. As this match gets underway, there's clearly no love lost in this one. The thing about this is, these superstars don't just dislike each other, they don't respect each other. Well, in this business, you have to earn your respect. If a handshake doesn't work, maybe a little beatdown will. Oh, Stiff man. kick. Oh, the heel hook. Stretch. Right to the spine. Wicked kick to the lower back. That offense taking a toll on her. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Zoe with the retaliation. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. Oh, what an uppercut. She could do it here. She was close to the end there. Able to squeeze that shoulder out, so close. Insulting. Stark can't stop this string of offense. Zoe has to wake herself up and turn her intensity up a notch. Caught with the boot. She's fighting back. She's doing what she can to halt her the beatdown. Could be a good chance for her to get some distance. Just a nasty headbutt. Now watch this. Beautiful Northern Lights suplex. The beginning of the end. What are they doing here? <laughs> Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Judo throw into a DDT. We could be looking at the start of one of the all-time great sports entertainment rivalries. Way to put soaring. What? Trying to do as much damage as humanly possible. But at what cost? Release German. Ah, oh, striking with an A. Oh, my goodness. What's Zoe thinking here? Down with a suplex. to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Looking bad for her here. Starts fighting spirit shine through on that attack. Oh, look. Cutting her off there. Smart strategy. Sit out. Power driver. Will Stark recover? Some could say this loss really added insult to injury. It was enough to be disrespected earlier on, but the loss definitely didn't help matters. I think a true congratulations is in order. Sure, they were disrespectful earlier, but that clearly didn't hurt their game. In fact, if anything, it might have given them more of that competitive edge.
once in a lifetime competitor, the living legend. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Abruzzo, Italy, weighing in at 265 pounds, the first superstar, Bruno San Martino. He is a mountain of a man and an absolute powerhouse. Yeah, speaking of that power, he set countless weightlifting records. Some say he's the strongest man on the planet. Plans on proving it tonight. Is Trick Willie? And his opponent from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing in at 205 pounds, Trick Williams. So much swagger, so much confidence. Williams sees himself as the next big thing. And he's not the only one who does. Time for talk is just about over. Uh, actually, Williams never really stops running his mouth. The bell rings and we are underway as the living legend Bruno San Martino is ready to lock up. And man, Bruno is in incredible shape. Bruno is always in superior physical condition. San Martino benches 565 pounds. That's one of my all-time favorites, the Octopus Strap. Oh, what a reversal and counter by him. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Oh, no. I got right to the gut. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Not the position you want to be in right now. Ooh, pinpointing the trachea. Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. These two show it. Great trouble here. Can he get it fully locked in? Ooh. Able to punch his way out. Oh, right in there. Corey, any words of wisdom for taking out a competitor with the incredible physique of Bruno San Martino? You have to play the long game and try to whittle away at Bruno. You can't just take him down with one big hit. You gotta take your time and weaken him little by little. That's the only way to get it done, Cole. Oh, right to that gut. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. Tackle. Pop. Williams dodges. What a clothesline. Tackles. Ruthless. Got the leg and drops the elbow. to the gut. Bruno wasn't showing any love or respect with that attack. Trapped in the corner. It's not stop blows. Foot to the gut. Pounding the bread basket. Oh, what a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? Wow, the ref got hit hard there. There he goes, right into the corner. Yeah. Hurled away. God. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. What a clothesline. Ouch. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. 
across the top rope. Shot right to the gut. Here we go. It's popping off. Oh. Nothing pretty here. Just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. And the manager is searching under the ring. He can only be looking for something nefarious down there. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. Who will break first? That is the question. Beautiful. Counters that. And this match will head back to the ring. Shoulder tackle. He foiled that attempt. Hoist it up. Snap suplex. And this one might be headed ringside. Punch lands. Williams gets countered. Cinching in a waist lock, but right hands from the opposition. Big boot. Huge offense from Trick Williams. Hungry and refusing to stay in the background. Fade here in danger of a count out. That'll stop the count, and this match will continue. I'm glad that wasn't the end of things. Lands a body shot. Walking in the sleeper hold and into a neck breaker. Here he goes for the win. I'm not quite sure what. What? Whoa, whoa, Why whoa, did wait. they? Just, he's got a steel chair. No, no, no. So, somebody stop this. Well, the official can. He just went hightailing. Oh, oh there we go. Finally, some help. At the last possible second. Thank goodness he was here. Yeah, that could have got ugly quickly. Before this match starts, maybe some good sportsmanship. Right, maybe that's asking oh, maybe oh, too much. Oh. That's how you escalate the disrespect. Well, guys, you know, they should have known better than to take the bait. And one of these two superstars ended up looking like a fool, and we are just getting started. Tensions are high. After a shotgun attack during the entrances, this match has found its way inside the ring at last. Now we can really get things started. And you know what? I respect the decision to still go through with this match after an attack like that. I'm not sure whether I think they're brave or foolish, but it does take guts. He's turning the tables. Well-scattered reversal there. Single leg takedown. We could be looking for the single leg Boston. And just able to make it to the ropes. That was a close call. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. Push. 
Alex turns that away. Kimura, the Kimura. Kimura lock up. He doesn't have much time before his arm snaps. Great job fighting out. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Punch right in the head. And Butch fending him off. Arm ringer applied. Ripped down to the canvas. Oh, no! Stop to the arm! That arm's going to be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. As much of a brawly brute as Butch is, we've seen him outsized by many superstars in WWE, Corey. Well, size has never been a concern of Butch's, Cole. He faces every opponent with the same spit and vinegar. This is dangerous territory for both athletes. The ring apron. Are you kidding me? Off the apron to the floor. This match grinded him down a little. <laughs> Great reversal. Arm ringer applied. Oh my goodness, that might have snapped a finger. An old school tactic that is as effective as ever. You hear the talk in the locker room, the anything you can do, I can do better mentality that's been building between these competitors. I've noticed just how much they've been trying to one-up each other as of late, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. This is quickly turning into a slugfest. Ooh! The fight is on, and it's furious. It looks like a hockey fight's just broken up. Slugging away with everything they've got. Back and forth, neither one giving up any ground. Shoulders down. He put him away. He picks up the win. Here is your winner, Adam Cole. You hate to see it after a hard-fought match. They just couldn't seem to shut them up in this one. It looks like the lack of respect will continue on for now. To disrespect your competition and then definitively beat them like this, it sure stings a bit. But let's not rain on their parade. They earned it. It's time to cut the disrespect. The Don is in the building. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 240 pounds, Tony D'Angelo. D'Angelo, a former All-American wrestler, now taking over all of WWE. Now, that's pretty impressive, given his family's background in waste management. Oh, yeah. Tony D'Angelo may be the dime, but he's not afraid to take a business into his own hands. Because it's a family business. And tonight, Tony shows the world that business is good.
Six foot four, 350 pounds of range. And opponent from the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 350 pounds, the Samoan bulldozer, Umaga. We may be about to see a fight or a one-sided mauling. Umaga went undefeated in WWE for over a half a year. Yeah, during that time, Umaga earned victories over the likes of Kane, John Cena, Shawn Michaels, and Triple H. Unmatched savagery inside the ring from bell to bell from Umaga. Three hundred and fifty pounds of pure power, and he'll use that as viciously as possible. And scoring off here, we have the infamous Tony D'Angelo. He might not leave a horse's head in his opponent's bed, but that doesn't mean he's not dangerous. Well, D'Angelo may have a reputation around the locker room, but let's not forget, he was an All-American collegiate athlete prior to his professional career. This is a man who's all about taking care of business here in WWE, so you have to be prepared when you're taking him on. We'll see if Tony uses some of his strong-arm tactics to shake down his opponent here tonight. And he'll be facing off against one of the most intimidating superstars WWE has ever seen, the Samoan Bulldozer, Umaga. I don't know why anyone would willingly agree to a match against Umaga. His size, strength, toughness, everything. Not to mention, the man is unhinged. Ooh, a oh, kick. Nasty kick. Right to the face. My God. What a barrage of stops. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Ooh. Uh-oh. Reversal! What a counter! Hellacious power slam! We know Tony D'Angelo has a temper and is not afraid to unleash that on his opponents without remorse. Yeah, Cole, but we've seen how Tony D's quickness to anger can backfire on him. If you can stifle his offense for long enough, Tony's temper is going to boil over and he's bound to slip up. I'm on their shoulders. Down in a hurry. Oh, my God. Grabbing a hold of the arm. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Oh, D'Angelo anticipated that. Oh, geez. Nasty kick to the face. Is it enough? And he breaks the count quickly. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Boom, the button. Counter from Umaga. Oh, man, he is fired up now. Mistake by Umaga. DDT plants that. Oh, man, Umaga just got busted up. See that coming. Rocked with the point of the elbow. Get to the gut. Oh, what a right! He's heading up top. Thinking big. High risk. Elbow drop from the top. I don't know if Umaga can withstand much more of this. Umaga has to find a way to turn things around. And frustration might be starting to set in. Arm trap, Northern Lights suplex. Oh, oh neck breaker. D'Angelo sent. Maybe not, maybe not. And still in this. Almost inhuman at this point. Oh, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Good 
shot, and now Tony is bleeding. He's expressing pain now. He needs to get himself some room to regroup fast. Up and Prototoplex. Tony can taste victory now. What in the world? If a kick out like that isn't a wake up call as to the kind of monster, the kind of beast that Umaga. High risk. Somehow, these superstars just keep upping the ante. And yeah, no one is backing down now. Not after everything they've been through. Taking this to the floor. Put it in position now. Oh, look at this. And now gets tossed into the ring. That don't even wake you up or knock you out. Boom, the counter. Sequence of reversals here. Both super. Up and Prototoplex. Is there any life left in Umaga? It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner, Tony D. Tony D'Angelo coming away with the win and the bragging rights. I don't know if I'd say the battle scars were worth it, Cole, but I will say the one who did it to them isn't the one celebrating right now. Gigi Dolan ready for a fight, as always. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, Gigi Dolan. A woman who began her wrestling career at the age of 17 years old. Yeah, she's one of the youngest female competitors in WWE, but already has a veteran's mindset. Gigi Dolan has the ability to be pretty imaginative in the ring. She says her creativity is how she expresses herself. some highly motivated competitors in this match looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe.
one of the most anticipated matches we've had in quite some time. And this woman is the reason why. to be excited when this superstar is in the ring. A competitor who has no limits. She wouldn't know her limits if they were right in front of her, Michael. Some might think she's reckless at times, but it's impossible to get her to change her ways now. And I wouldn't expect her to fight any different in this matchup either. Gigi Dolan's a dangerous competitor, though. You can't look past her. Maybe not the most reliable friend in the world, but really, who is? Dolan is just as loyal as her friends are, Corey. She would go to war for them, and she would also go to war for herself. And tonight is Gigi's war. Delivering nasty stops. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. <laughs> Able to reverse. Caving in the abdomen. Going head to head, putting each other to the test. So much pride, so much resiliency on display. Exhaustion setting in, and neither one of them is letting up. Toe to toe, treating each other like heavy bags. We knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Twists the arm and a kick right to the midsection. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Ooh, what a damaging blow. The vicious streak of Dolan's being put to the test there. display of offense we just witnessed there. <laughs> Look at this. And that was a well-executed attack. <laughs> Gigi catches her by surprise. <laughs> Ooh, look at her answering back. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. She wrote. Here is your winner, Sarah Bates. Rules are rules, and the referee deemed this one a count out. Not the win they wanted, but it's a win nonetheless. Caden Carter and Katana Chance, the Warriors of NXT. Oh. 
the following is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. The longest reigning NXT Women's Tag Team Champions in history. Hey, they dance as good as they wrestle. Go, Kaden. Go, Kaden. Byron, I'm a much better dancer. You know I've won many dance contests. The High Flying Hall of Famer. And their opponents, first, from Sanford, North Carolina, Lita. You know, so many of today's top women stars say they were inspired by Lita. The likes of Becky Lynch, Bailey, Liv Morgan. Yeah, but Lita wants to be more than just an inspiration. Lita wants to remain a top WWE and prove she is still at the top of her game. Here comes the pit bull of the women's and division. Representing the Creed Brothers from Knoxville, Tennessee, Ivy Nile. An endless supply of strength and determination. Ivy Nile doesn't lift weights. Ivy Nile lifts the whole gym. Nile never stops training, never stops working. She's always improving on herself. Katana Chance and Caden Carter, two superstars who refuse to let their diminutive stature define them. In fact, they even consider their size an asset. Yeah, for as small as they are, they more than make up for that with their athleticism and unorthodox offensive style. Chance and Carter's in-ring dynamic really is unmatched. They can do things in the ring we've never even seen before. Unbelievable athleticism. Maybe not! She kicks out with authority. Not a very effective pin attempt. Reversal! Can she capitalize? Into the corner now. Oh, my! Great tandem offense. Talk about being on the same page. They were on the same sentence with that fine piece of work. And Caden was scouted there. Ooh, what a forearm club. Into a sidewalk slam. So much damage inflicted. Gets the tag. Oh, unique offense. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oh, impressive counter. Going to wear down their opponent. Oh, with the heel hook stretch. From a seated position to a vertical base. Hooks the arm. Expertly applied suplex. <laughs> Using the elbow to escape the attack. Oh, get ready. She knows exactly what she's doing with this submission hold. Yep. Almost a miraculous escape and a side slam. Hey. Counter from Carter. Reciprocating the initial reversal. She's on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. Oh, 
it didn't go as planned there. Big first right into the buckle. Ivy Nile has to avoid that kind of offense if she wants to be in this match. Horse forearm draped across the middle rope. Oh. And down. Oof. Here's her tag. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Suplex brings them down. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. Ooh, what a forearm club. That'll mess up the back of your neck. Uh, put the brakes on Nile. Right to the kidneys from behind. And Katana's confidence has to be rocked after that. Turns it around. Sole of the foot meets the stomach. Sent into the corner. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. Oh, the kicks. He has never had a chance to block any of those. Just ruthless. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. And bit by bit, Nile chipping away at the competition. Oh, look at head scissors. DDT! Incredible. Can she score the pin? Fizz off the three count. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Places her right in the corner. And full control here. A face full of turnbuckle. This competitor has such a deep arsenal. We're about to see more of it. Springboard. Head scissor. Incredible. That offense really hitting her hard. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. Good timing with that reversal. Big form. Big blow. Could be felt throughout the arena. Reversal from Katana. Russian leg sweep. Corkscrew splash. As effective as it is pretty. Comes in off the tag. Nile gets out of there. Big right hand. What are we going to follow up with here? The facelift. Big elbows right to the body. Oh, look at this. I love it. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Arm ringer. Ooh, eats a big right. Blasted by a forearm. And tagged in is Lita. Oh my gosh, what impact. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals.
Lead up. Reverse twist of fate. We got a cover. And there's the save. Oh, quite an effective counter. Evades their offense. Looking wobbly in the corner. Tag made. What do these two superstars have in mind? From the top, no, from the shoulders. What in the world? All the way to the middle of the ring and to the center. No way Lita's coming back from that. Boom, she covers for the pin. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept up. And a drop kick. Picture perfect. Bam. And Lita getting challenged there. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. A running hurricane Rana. And both out. Tag is made. Tandem offense on its way from the very top rope. No, even higher from their partner's shoulders. Crashing down hard with a senton. Chance concealing here. Cover. Oh, no, I thought it was over. Oh, grief, this is chaotic. Come on, ref. Big drop of the leg. What a match. It's total match. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't either. Can this ref even count the three? That's now tagging her in. She's pushed into the corner. This match for the win. Kick out. She still has life. She just will not go away. Tag made. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Katana was expecting that. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. A great job anticipating Ivy. In off the tag is Lita. Turnbuckles, rock kick. Set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, just turn that around. Sit out, jawbreaker. You can pick up your teeth in the third row. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Snake eyes. Tagging her partner in. Reaching their opponent. Look at these. And a series of vicious knee strikes to the body. Right to the leg. She's starting to tire a little. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? She's looking for the win. Shoulder up, shoulder up. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Ow. Foot, meet, back. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Another one. Uses the edge of the knee. Caden feeling the energy, the energy from this crowd. Tag is made, and here we go. She set flying into the corner. Kick! Nice counter from Chance. Pinpointing the leg. Ooh. And Carter once again facing her competition's wrath. I think Nile. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. Oh my good. Ah, save. Just in a nick of time. Wow, what impact. Drops 
the hammer. Right on the This could do it. She kicks out with force. How this match is still going on defies all reasoning. She looks hell bent on finishing things right now. Still fighting the energy to remain on the attack. Chance has fought through a lot, but she could be waiting at this point. Into a hammer lock flatliner. Is it enough? The cover! <laughs> Drop kick hits hard, lands harder. Face first. There's the crucifix. Nicely done. Cross body. any remnants of control now. Can Lita withstand this surge? Tagged into the action. Yeah, yeah. Running Hurricane Rana! She flips it back on her! Able to parry that one. Hurricane Rana! Unbelievable athleticism. And she's in off the tag. Kate and Carter is fired up and ready to go. Reaches her partner. Tag. Just in time. Multiple knee strikes. Muscling up their opponent. Fireman's carry position. Set down into a leg drop. Very unique. Will that do it for Carter? Will that do it? And a tag there. Take off. Pop right in the stomach creates the separation. Got driven face first. What a way! myself the same question. I have no idea. Oh, man. Looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Put it in the corner now. Just breaking down the opponent. This pairing pain, strong dividends with an impressive tag team win. Really putting the sports in sports entertainment. This is a duo that really practiced their teamwork.
Gentlemen, pay respects to your double champion. I already am. Well, double your respects then. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from the Queen City, the NXT Women's Champion and the NXT Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. She is the personification of success. And right now, she's showing the crowns that she's earned. This is indeed a historic achievement. A woman, two championships, it's absolutely incredible. It doesn't matter how many tricks this woman has up her sleeve because the submission magician has an entire freaking spell book. A menacing look in her eye. Michael, I think you mean terrifying? Baszler is ready to subdue any and all opposition she encounters. Baszler just absolutely loves combat in any form. You say that like it's a bad thing. She holds the record for most women's Royal Rumble eliminations and women's elimination chamber eliminations. It doesn't matter if she has one opponent or 29 in the ring or in a chamber. Shayna Baszler is always ready to fight. When the mouth guard goes in, the lights go out for her opponent. Charlotte Flair has reached a point in her career where she truly has nothing left to prove. That is true, Michael, but Charlotte defines herself as excellence and refuses to give anything less than that when she is standing in... Uh-oh, Dragon Sleeper applying. This could be it. Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Oh. And I'm standing across the ring from Shayna Baszler. I know I can't beat her in a straight-up fight. So what do I do? Focus on stamina and simply outlasting my competition. Shane is used to ending fights quickly, so stamina may be the key to solving the submission magician. As long as you don't get tapped out before you can properly execute your plan, that is. Counters on counters, technical prowess on display. Placing them into the corner. Oh, and a running knee lift by Baszler. Oh, knee right to the spine. Ooh. From the top. Oh, man. Looking for a suplex. Slingshot. Oh, slingshot. The fatigue is setting in for her. Punishing boot. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Oh my God. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. And the brunt of all that impact goes right to the head. Oh, knee, knee, back of neck. Great counter by Baszler. She can end it here. She's quick to get her shoulder up. She shows that she's far from finished. Uh-oh. Great counter. 
She's finally able to slow all that incoming offense. But Charlotte still has more to do to get this fully in her favor. She scores big with the counter. Ooh. Oh, what a knee right to the face. This could do it. A kick out before the referee can get to one. Well, she thought she saw a chance to gain the fall, but obviously was mistaken. Oh, a sudden cutter. Oh, man. And she at Baszler scouted. Legs caught. Oh, elbow to the knee. Uh-oh, dragon sleeper applied. This could be it. The submission magician in it. Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Offense in store here. Dragon Sleeper applied. Oh my God, from the top rope. Dragon Sleeper locked in. Oh my oh. God. Her shoulders are down. She gets a quick kick out there. Still a ways to go in this match based on that. <laughs> oh, shot right to the kidney. Targeting the leg, doing what they have to do to cut away at the base. Counter by Charlotte. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena and finds a counter. Back and forth from these competitors. Oh, well scouted by Baszler. She's showing signs of slowing now. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. My goodness, did you hear that shot? Oh, what's going to happen here? Look out. Explode suplex. She's going up. Top rope. Uh-oh. Way too close. Oh. Adrenaline can make you do crazy things. Exhibit A, right there. Oh, man. Looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Oh, that might have just broken something. Charlotte Flair with a trademark chop and natural selection. And Charlotte continuing to execute her game plan to devastating results. Beautiful execution based on smart planning. Baszler laying down the gun. Oh, reminding her that she did not come here to play games. Reversal on top of reversal. We've seen these women throw just about everything at each other, and somehow they keep fighting on. The sheer will to win is on full display. Look at that insult to injury with that one. That was just malicious. Ouch. She's going for it. And she breaks the count. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. Look at this. Deadlift in there. Pulling it into a, a gut red suplex, but not done yet. Holding on for another. A second gut red suplex. Just rubbing salt in the wound now. And Baszler powering through to deliver some punishing offense. Yeah, Baszler somehow closing in on a win as she grinds out some late game offense. 
Arm ringer applied. Oh my goodness. That Snap the finger. Shayna Baszler's not playing games. Charlotte needs to find a way to reverse her fortunes. Looking for the victory. Two. Almost ended it there. What a match. Shayna looking to close this. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. Escapes and a chop block takes him down. for Shayna Baszler. Charlotte's happy with her victory tonight. With good reason. What an impressive win for the Queen. Here he is, a champion twice over. Wow. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion and the NXT Champion, Seth. Holding two titles is the ultimate statement of power. Who could question him at this point? Let there be no doubt, this is what domination looks like. And he's at the top of this division. Holding around two titles does put a huge target on his back, though. Everyone wants a piece of him, a shot at one of those titles, but he's holding on with a vice-like grip. You know, at one time, this man was the richest in the history of WWE. From Palm Beach, Florida, weighing in at 260 pounds, the NXT UK champion, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Make no mistake, behind all of the wealth is one of the best technical wrestlers in WWE history. If he can't buy a victory tonight, the Million Dollar Man can earn it too. The Million Dollar Man is used to getting his way, and those who oppose him will pay dearly. Yeah, DiBiase just doesn't want to win. 
he wants to bankrupt his opponents. All right, guys, Seth Rollins set for action. I think it's fair to say that Rollins is as impressive and talented as they come when the bell rings, but he can be a bit abrasive. Well, say less about the visionary, Cole. One man's abrasive is another man's unorthodox. Seth is playing four-dimensional chess. He's an in-ring mastermind. I'm actually more of a... Oh, oh there's a submission on the way. It's in. And the ropes forced to break. He did not want to be caught up in that submission any longer. When you're taking on a mastermind like Seth Rollins, the most important thing to remember is that you have to take away his ability to control the match. Pace is a good place to start. If Rollins wants things fast, slow them down. If he tries to be methodical, start out running him. Yeah, owning the tempo here could definitely fluster Rollins. Slam. What an interception. <laughs> Into a dragon screw leg whip. Jarring impact. Oh, DiBiase with great awareness. Slip blade by Rollins. Rollins got surprised there. Oh! He is delivering elbow after elbow. Here's the snapmare, followed by the knee drop. That'll fracture an orbital. <laughs> Rollins with a reversal. <laughs> Fought off with an elbow. Rollins. There's the forearm to the back of the neck. He saw it coming, taking advantage. That'll light up your chest. Answering back. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. Look at these kicks. Boom! You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Into the corner. This can't be good. Oh! He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, Seth with a potentially game-changing offensive maneuver there. The cross the top rope. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? Forearm smash in the corner. Close line to the... And he goes for the pin. He gets the shoulder up at two. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Flying. Five star frog splash. And you can't deny the finesse Rollins brings. Here is your winner, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Unfortunately for the Million Dollar Man, things did not go his way. All the money in the world couldn't have saved Million Dollar Man's chances. Tough loss for the high roller.
Here comes the Hall of Fame Fina. The most intimidating and imposing competitor in WWE history. And one of the most awe-inspiring entrances in all of sports entertainment. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Brothers of Destruction from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds, one half of the NXT UK Tag Team Champions, The Undertaker. The best pure striker in all of WWE. The Undertaker is most certainly someone you don't want to cross because he holds grudges. But if you can somehow make it out alive against him, you just might earn the Undertaker's respect. That's a very big might. as the gates of hell have just opened. Expect punishing power, devastating strikes, all courtesy of the dead man. Hall of Fame worthy dominance. And I truly believe in a matter of moments we will see yet another victim rest in peace. Kit Wilson is here. We're talking about looks that kill, flowing hair like gladiators racing chariots through the Coliseum. And also one half of the self-proclaimed greatest tag team in WWE. And his opponent, representing Pretty Deadly from London, England, weighing in at 185 pounds, Kit Wilson. Take a look at the raven-haired bruiser. Not to be taken lightly, despite his eccentricities. Well, he may be moments away from resting in peace. I'll say what we're all thinking. We honestly don't even deserve to be in Kit Wilson's beautiful presence. But since he's allowed it, we should at least show him the respect he deserves. On his own and looking so good in the process. Guys, give me a yes, boy. As overzealous as Corey may be, Wilson really is a talented superstar in his own right. He's just looking to prove that here tonight, prove that he's not just a pretty face. Yeah, but The Undertaker is known for his hard-hitting offense. Those debilitating strikes, those powerful slams. Truly getting hit by The Undertaker is like getting hit by a ton of bricks. Yeah, Saxton's right. You can't go into a match against The Undertaker without expecting him to just unload on you. It's good luck. 
Not to underestimate The Undertaker here, but you could argue that the key to this matchup is Brains versus Braun. We know that Taker has the power game on lock, which is why you should rarely, if ever, try to challenge him on that. I don't care how big you are, but if you can outsmart him instead, that has to even the playing field. Can he score the pin? Oh, uh, maybe. And there's the kick out. That's still a quick kick out at this point. Connects on the kick. Producing a trampling. Oh, my God. Vicious right forearm. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Oh, down by the DDT. Using the elbow as a weapon. Mistake made by Wilson. Countered it just in time. Undertaker had that scouted. Undertaker DDT. Some serious damage. Action needs to return to the ring and fast. loss. Statistically speaking, the cards were stacked in Taker's favor going into this match. He knew it. I knew it. Looks like only his opponent didn't.